Well, tonight questions about water quality are lingering from six news viewers. People are wondering about using water filters under a boil water notice. Six news reporter Sydney Deshawn is here to verify what's really safe. Sydney. Chris, this all comes after the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality issued a boil water notice for the Kempner Water Supply Corporation on Tuesday. Central Texans tonight just want answers and all hope for one thing, and that's safe water. We hear about people dying from infections from drinking contaminated water. Clean water is a necessity for all. It's why viewer Russell Trobo reached out to our Verify team. We always watch the KCN news and that, you know, the verifies. And I was just wondering, do we still need to boil our water if we have a, you know, water softener and a filtration system? So let's verify. Do you still need to boil water if you have a filter system? Our sources are the CDC, TCEQ, and Amy Mercyofsky with Texas A&M University, Central Texas. The TCEQ says when a public water system issues a boil water notice to customers, water in the distribution system may be unsafe. Anyone could get intestinal GI tract infections from drinking contaminated water. The CDC recommends drinking bottled water and boiling your tap water. You've got to boil it to try to make sure that you've killed any bacteria, fungus, viruses. Mercyofsky says this goes for filtered tap water too. Those uh, bacteria, those parasites, etc., they're microscopic, and so they're still going to get through those filters. The CDC and TCEQ confirmed filters and softeners do not remove bacteria or viruses. All water filters should be replaced after a notice has been lifted. So we can verify, yes, if you are under a boil water notice, you'll need to boil water, even if you have a filter system. I think as we get more and more of these, people do get complacent with it, and we really don't need to be complacent with it. Clean water is a necessity. Um, and also don't just count on things like water filters in your ice machine um, to make the water safe. Such important information. And if you have a question you would like to get something verified, just get in touch with us. You can reach out to us at verify at KCENTV.com. Chris. Okay, good information there, Sydney. Thanks for that update.